And so as preachers, one of our jobs is to tear down the fortresses in which people hide. Now there are many, many different fortresses on the, in, the, uh, uh, in the world today, and we attack them all. But one of the main ones is this idea that because evolution shows that the Earth is old, actually evolution does not show that, that's uh, what's called uniformitarian uh, uh, astronomy. Uh, that people then are comforted to think they don't have to deal with God. And so we've got to well, disabuse them of that. I mean, technically, that's our job. They don't have to deal with God. That's why the God or your well, God, now let or me a ask God you. gave them free will, free will he did to give live them their free life will. without but having those would God be good? To what? kill everyone who doesn't believe without first doing everything in his power to get them to change. He's not I mean, doing everything. He's he not doing does everything that. in his power. Oh, yes, he is. Oh, no, he is not. He, he kind of does If that. he was doing everything in Show his power, miracle, he would come please. to me and say, dude, you're wrong. Yeah. All right. Do not speak <laughs> through somebody Let me else. ask you this. Jesus Christ came on the earth and did very, very many miracles, walked on water, multiplied loaves and fishes, yeah. raised Chris Angel the walked dead, on water too, and air. did all of these wonderful miracles, and what was the outcome of his miracles? He got himself. He was killed. So here you're trying to tell me that if God were to do that again, it would work? I don't think so. Actually, he tried it once. It actually, didn't work. Actually, here's the problem. We, as a race, this was what, 2,000 years ago, when, when Jesus Christ walked on the water and turned water into wine. Then if he walked on the wine, never mind. No, 2,000 years ago, if he did it again, Everyone would know about it. Not just this small sect of people living in Central America. It doesn't make any no. difference. Yes, it does. Because the people in North America at the time didn't see Jesus. They were in North America. He was in the Middle East. Jesus said this. Why? What did Jesus say? Me. Why? Because he said, because I testify of it, that the works are all evil. Now, in order for any person to come to the realization that they have to be right with God, it requires them to come to the realization that their evil has separated them from God. When you begin to point out people's evil, they get upset with you, and oftentimes they will try to kill you. And so, you see, it has well, nothing to do with his miracles. His miracles do not prevent yeah, yeah, yeah. him from being killed because it is the nature of evil to strike out to destroy that which exposes it. You know that. Everybody knows that. You don't rat on somebody because you're afraid they're going to come and kill you. He's a fruit booter. So you see. Doing miracles, I can do miracles. I do miracles all the time. Yes, I do. How? By prayer. Example? Uh, this weather, for one thing. He gave us this, of course. Of course, this is his doing. This is clearly God's yeah. doing. Because he's yeah. saying the seasons are God's will. Well. I say, Lord. They are God's will! No, no, no. He wills us to have seasons, except that this is about the first day that it's been above zero in about two months. Uh, yesterday? Not really. <laughs> really? The last two months? Well, let's just say I'm not zero, but above freezing. It's been below freezing since around the, the first week of December. Now, I prayed, I prayed yesterday, Lord, give us a prank, send us some warm weather. And he did. Uh, but you see, you don't see these miracles because, you see, your mind is so corrupted by your unbelief, you wouldn't be able to accept them even if you did. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Um, you were praying for the weather. Why don't we pray for people who are dying of AIDS and starvation? I, I mean, nice, nice days out are great, but, you know, there's thousands of people die. <laughs> well, you know, if that's the burden that God lays on your heart, I recommend you do that. Why would God? That there's a lot of work that needs that to be done. Burden your heart? No, it doesn't. If people are dying from AIDS because they've engaged in things which are, are highly 
abominations to God. Children that, are dying of AIDS. So, so? children who weren't okay, who weren't. people sorry, die no, all no, the no, time. No, no. If you if you are sitting here preaching love, like, like I'm not preaching love. You're not preaching love. No, he's not. Are you supposed to be following <laughs> Jesus' footsteps? He didn't preach love. He did. Jesus did not preach love. No, he didn't. No, he said, uh, "I did not come here to bring peace, but division." That's in Matthew 10, verse 39. Uh -huh. Is it? Is it? Wasn't Jesus preaching God's love? No. No. That doesn't have love. Yeah, what are you talking about? You know, if you go read through the Bible, all the places that are in red where Jesus spoke, you won't find but one verse where Jesus even mentioned God's love. That's John 3.16. But within the context of John 3.16 in the end of the chapter, he mentions judgment ten times. Well, mentions God's love once, judgment ten times. Jesus came not to preach love, he came because the problem is not that God loves us and we don't know it. That's not the problem. The problem is we don't love him. So Jesus came to say repent and believe because the problem lies in our hearts, not God's. It's yeah, not a, I know. We're we are not, not sent here to that's convince that's you that God that's loves that's you and has a wonderful plan for your life. We're here to convince you that, good. 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 You that oh, by oh, your yeah, behavior, yeah, yeah. by your arguments, you prove yourself to be enemies of God. And He doesn't want to kill you. I'm not, he I'm wants not you arguing, to be saved. I'm not arguing God or not. I'm arguing the points that you're trying to make are moot because it doesn't really affect anyone's life. Whereas if you were trying to preach peace it? and love, and you know, let's help out. Let's help out our brother. Let's help out our neighbor. You know, I go through life. That's those things are required. Of, uh, obviously, are required of the believers. So, not make them but you see, the first step. No matter how much good things you do for anyone else, uh, if you lose your own soul, you have done nothing. The government is trying to. The Bible well, says, what would it profit a man? In the fact that I what? Help people out. But the Bible and says you're wrong. Well, I would say, the Bible no, it doesn't say well. he's wrong. He should do those things. Jesus said these things need to be done. What about the but the, the, first the first thing that you have to do, the Bible says, is seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all of these things shall be added to you. So, it's your, those should be your secondary considerations. Seek God first, and then do whatever he lays on your heart to do. That's a good, uh, that is a good prescription for living a good and fruitful life. I have a question. Why would God answer your prayer to get us all well to get us energy and change the weather and things? That's what government needs to do. They need to get people. Uh, because God is bringing the world to judgment. But he loves me. 